Guys, I have a very special video for you on this TFL SEMA Insider 2021 because I have several Jeep and Ram concept vehicles right here from the show. And also not just concepts, but also accessories. And I have the man who had a hand in designing a lot of these, Mark Trossel uh, from Mopar and Ram. Yes. And Stellantis. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're excited to be here. It's great to be back. <laughs> yes, in person. Yes, right? yes. So this is very cool. So I, this has been very hot on our website already uh, when we published the press release. This is the new Jeep Overlook Wrangler, which is a three row. Can we show it and talk about it? Absolutely, absolutely. And it is a concept, but we wanted to say what could, what would have happened if we put a three row into it and then also have some fun with the roof. So you yeah. see the hop up that we have in here and it's really cool when you're sitting back there being able to look through the skylights. We actually added 12 inches to the overall length of the vehicle uh, to accommodate right, the right in the back row, here. Right in the back. Yeah. Yep. So you started with a regular Wrangler with Sahara, right? Correct. Correct. And and then you kind of did this customization on the rear, and it's also showing some other Mopar and Jeep performance parts. Of course, right? we have our, our two inch lift kit on it. We have a, a black Rhino wheel, which we have a great affiliate program with, and then of course a little bit of a chunkier tire on here as well. And the color is really really cool in the sunlight. We call this Sahara Bronze. Really really pops. So let me. Uh, this wouldn't be TFL if I wouldn't get, try to get inside, right? <laughs> so basically, th this row folds. Correct. Let me see. Uh, here we go. And are these seats from another like production vehicle? Uh, we modified. We modified uh, some of our other Jeep products. To, okay. Uh, seats to fit. All right. Back there. So uh, just give me a moment. Uh, hold on. Okay. All right, guys, I'm here inside. I'm sitting. I'm going to pop up the headrest. Actually, there's a lot of headroom. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, there's like a mile of headroom above my head. And I like the little uh, overlook windows throughout. I can see forward. I can see to the side. I have some legroom. Um, the seat is a little bit low, but I mean, this is a concept vehicle. So, so very cool. What a lot the, of headroom, dude. Yeah, a lot of headroom. It's great. Yeah, you feel, it feels really open back there. And in trying to you know, keep that theme of openness, the other thing that we did do is we took our two-piece freedom, freedom top that we have up front, and we, cr we combined it into one and put one large piece of glass in there, and uh -huh. it's still removable as well. So just kind of opening it up and give our, giving our customers potentially the option for another type. So you're playing with a few options, you know, what's possible to see what's doable and possible. Exactly. Yeah. We really try to mix uh, the, the pieces and parts that we have available and then do some concepts to see, you know, what, what kind of reception do we get from it and where can we go? So is this currently just a concept or currently what is it, it like? Currently it's just a concept, but the Stima show is a great place for us to get feedback and see what people think of uh, the third row, the hop up and uh, the one piece. Yeah, so that's really cool. And I fit, you know, my, my, my rear end was a little bit low, but, but hey, yeah. it's a concept, right? Correct. We didn't do any modifications to the to floor, the floor yeah. pan. So, uh, yeah. Let's check out that uh, customized uh, 4xE, shall awesome. we? All right, sure. let, let's walk. Of course, you have many other yeah, concept lots to, vehicles. Lots to talk about. Yeah. I mean, here's your Magneto. I mean, there's a Grand Cherokee L. Uh, there's too much to see almost. Yeah, yeah. But the cool thing about the, the 4xE is yeah. that the Magneto inspired it. So we introduced the Magneto at the Eastern Jeep Safari. Which was a concept, right? Which is a concept. Yeah. And, and we have our 4xE, which customers can purchase currently. And again, I like to look at this as a vehicle that our customers can raid the Jeep Performance Parts catalog on. It has <laughs> our uh, you know, two-inch lift kit on it. We have a, a 35-inch tire. Um, we've taken our tube doors, painted them uh, body color. So something that our customers really can do on their own, but it really changes the look of the vehicle. Cat skin interior. I love the combination, you know, the, the blue and the white. High contrast, right? And again, yeah. trying to tie in a little bit of a, you know, brother sister to the Magneto. Yeah, very sweet. So let's look around the front really quick. We have our beadlock wheels. We have our, our one piece 
uh, front bumper. Uh, we have a concept light bar that we've created up front too that I think uh -huh. is really, really pretty cool in front of the front of the winch. So once again, it kind of combines some of the parts people and the Jeep itself that people couldn't already buy. Exactly. And exactly. then just shows a little bit more of what's possible and yep. what's doable. Yep, we did some, had some fun with the colors, changed some colors, but all, again, all most of the things that our customers can do currently. Very, very sweet. I, I, once again, I love the color combo. It's kind of really bright, really catches your attention. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Uh, let me show you the back. Yeah. So in the rear of the vehicle, we, we have a, a fold down, fold down table. We oh, have sorry. an onboard compressor as well, um, which is uh, you know really cool for you know our, our customers. Yeah, like a little table here yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. I mean, you're airing down, or maybe you have some inflatable accessories or whatever. Yep, yep. Your mattresses, your yep. unit tubes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very sweet, and just kind of like cargo area as exactly. well. Exactly. All right, so I already did a separate video on the Rex Runner. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's leave that okay. be. Uh, let's look at the outdoorsman. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so. I mean, Ram had an outdoorsman uh, trim, you know, years and years ago, right? Yeah. But this, you're doing something new here. Yeah, yeah. So you know, in the outdoorsman, you know, it's it was such a good package that we thought, you know, it's a perfect way for us to showcase, you know, kind of two different lifestyles, if you will. You know, someone who wants to go camping, have fun, do some things on the weekend, or they can also use it for if they have it, you know, a construction or you know, even at for home jobs, projects yeah. or jobs as well. Um, you know, had some fun. We created a light bar, uh, a push bar up front, and put our five inch uh, LED lights on it. Um, it has a two inch uh, lift kit on it. And, and there's some really cool things um, as we go, as we walk around it. We, we created a, a pull out uh, work, work table for it. Uh -huh. Um, you know, something our customers, you know, have been asking for. So it was a great way for us to look at a concept. And we've actually included a uh, vacuum in the back. So we call this the, the call this the Ram vac. So um, I <laughs> think most really people cool. know how important it is to try and keep, uh, keep your vehicle clean. So uh, the package is under the seats. I was just talking to Alex about it, uh, our cameraman, and he has a dog. He's got sometimes dog hair. So you can perfect. You know, vacuum perfect. that up, yep. you know, yep. that's, that's, yep. really, that's yep. really cool. And uh, I, I like what you've done in the back here. Lots of content back here. And so, you know, again, part of what we try and do is create some, some products and innovation and test it out. And, and so we've actually designed this rack system um, as a, as a one-off concept, but it, it has a lot of potential to it. It's adjustable to heights. Um, you know, we obviously could put ladders on there. We have our kayak on there, fishing uh -huh. poles, and it actually has a chimsel uh, on the rear of it. So it's, it's truly a legal uh, component. You know what I really like about this, because this is also has the RAM box, and you can use the rack and have the box system in place. Uh, absolutely. Yep. That's, that's yep. very cool. Yep. Uh, something else we've, we've created is, you know, looking at what can we do with the gate to create some, some more function for our customers. So we've come up with this, T, you know, incorporated the T-Track system uh -huh. uh, that allows you to use, um, you know, different Rockler type things, whether you're working on a mountain bike or again, if someone's on a job site. We've included some uh, conversion charts and oh, things right here, on yeah. there as well. Yeah. Um, we also have some uh, cool pull-out uh, pull uh, accessories that, that go along with it. Um, they'll hold up to, uh, Hold up to 2,000 uh, 2, pounds a piece for it. So uh, really, really cool, really cool components. So some of this people cannot buy yet. Correct. And some correct. of it can, so yeah. Correct, correct. So that's very interesting. I mean, I could see, for example, the six person seating, the big horn where it starts, right? Yep. And then also that little table. Yeah. I, I can see that being very popular with the viewers. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I think this is also pretty cool because you can mount other accessories, maybe like a little stove yes. temporarily, yes. right? Yep. yep. Uh, and and that, I, I love that because that's exactly why we do these types of things because we love the feedback and we, we you know, we, we want to give customers things that they're looking for and that they want. Yeah, and this rack system, I mean, if it was lower, I could see it being used for a tent or yes. something like yes. that, right? Yes, yeah. you know, we're even talking about, you know, could we close it off, um, you know, with the uh, hard material as well. And we've incorporated lights that you see as well. Yeah, little spotlights. 
Yeah, well, this was just a glimpse <laughs> at what you have here at uh, Mopar booth here in general. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Good yeah. talking to you as so always. So hopefully some of this will definitely, I mean, be accessible to people. So that's really cool. Yeah.